Hey, welcome back to Bootleg Tech. My name is Jesse, and today we are reviewing this HP Victus. I have managed to pick up on OfferUp for a pretty good deal, considering the retail price on these is anywhere from $700 to $950, depending on the configuration. But without further ado, let's go ahead and check out this PC real quick. All right, taking a look at the laptop, you have a soft touch finish right here. It's like a matte rubber, sort of. You got some logos going on right there. Taking a look at the left side, at the right side, I mean, you got a USB Type-C, your RG45 Ethernet jack, a super speed USB 3.0, an HDMI port right there on the left. So moving on to the left side, you have a power plug right here for your barrel connector, and then a USB 3.0, and your microphone headphone combo jack as well as a full-sized SD card slot. And you can also see that there is some speaker grills on that side. Moving up to the front, you just have your opening latch for the hinge. And although on the back, it looks like it is full of ventilation, only this part right here is actually ventilation. But it is a pretty beefy section. It goes from here to about here. And I will show you the rest of that when we get take a look on the inside. Opening it up, it is not a one-hand operation, of course. It does come up a little bit up. You have a backlit keyboard right here, which you just activate by pressing function in there. But it's very basic. You don't get any RGB lighting or any um, any levels of adjust of adjustment. You just get either on or off. The screen is pretty decent. It's got good colors. Yeah, but it doesn't get as bright. So if you're looking to use this in a brighter environment, you might want to look elsewhere. But if you can find this at the right price, definitely go for it. Okay, so let's try taking off. This is the back of the laptop, of course. And then just taking off like the panel, you have some screws right here, as well as on this side. And then you just gently pry from the middle. And because if you try prying from the sides, you're gonna have a hard time. So you have to first go from the middle and then make your way around, take this off, revealing the internals of the laptop. So here you have a, what is it, a 52 and a half watt hour battery. I don't know exactly how long it'll last me, I just got this thing. And here you have two dim slots for your memory, DDR4 clocked in at 3200 mega transfers. Here of course is our heat sink array coupled with two fans and the temperatures on this don't get significantly high uh, except when you're playing super heavy demanding games like dying light but we're gonna check some more performance out and check how it does like playing warzone and stuff like that of course here you have your one nvme slot and I do not see any other slots for expandability. You have your Wi-Fi card right here as well. And it's a pretty small motherboard. Right here, it already has the spot for another NVMe slot. So you can see right there, the exact same one. They could have added another one, but they decided to cheap out on this version and say F it. F the consumers. Like, we'll just have to replace our own SSDs instead of adding, just adding one, you know? So definitely consider that if you want to buy this machine, you either have to change, swap this one out and then do like a, a migration of this onto the new one and so forth. All right, so this is the exact model that we're working, well, not the exact, with this one has upgraded memory. This one has 16 gigs, but this is basically it. As you guys can see, it's $800 right there. What the fuck? And this has a i5 12450H, which is like one of the newer processors that came out just last year with a total of eight cores and 12 threads, four performance cores, four efficiency cores. So this thing is not, not a slouch by any means. All right guys, the first game we're testing out is Fortnite. It is running on performance mode and I think the mediums, uh, the settings are like on medium preset. And of course we're using the built-in speakers of a laptop, which sound pretty decent. 
I'm not gonna lie, they do sound pretty decent. And forget my gameplay if I suck at Fortnite. I don't typically play it, especially with mouse and keyboard. But I think we can get some kills right here. But just falling down, like you can see, we're at a one, 130 frames per second. Although our CPU is a little toasty. It's like hovering around 86, 82 to 86 degrees Celsius. We're using about 10 gigs of RAM. And the GPU is staying at a roughly 69 to 60, 66 degrees Celsius, which isn't bad by any means. <laughs> Although our, uh, I think I hear something. Although of course our CPU is only being utilized like 5%, <laughs> which is stupid. Oh shit, we already have our first one. Oh man, I feel bad because it's like a bunch of, I'm pretty sure it's like a bunch of kids just playing or something. I just feel bad that I just killed them all. Alright, so going into the big environment like this, we're maintaining 144. And the detail on this is not bad. And the screen looks very great. For this gameplay, we are doing the resolution skill at 95. And we're using Fidelity FX Cast rendering method. And it's a mixture of low and normal settings. So it's just so you can get an idea of what uh, what the frame rate will look like. It is just a little bit harder to play with this because uh, everything's everything is smaller, and I'm used to like a uh, my monitor is 27 inches, so it's just a little bit harder, a little bit more straight on the eyes. All right, so we are playing at 1080p again. Our resolution scale is set to 95, and mix of mostly low settings and a few normal settings. So just you can get so you can get an idea of what we are working with. So you guys can see up here we're getting 80, anywhere from like it varies, it varies so much like 47 to 80. But let's see what we get when we're like dropped by somewhere. Damn, I literally cannot find anyone. What the hell? Screw it, let's go in the Hummer. So yeah, you guys can see the performance there, not bad, definitely playable, but if you want to get more frames, definitely get with the RTX 3050 Ti or something better. Alright guys, jumping into High on Life, the new 
game by Justin Roiland. This is in high settings, getting about 52 frames per second. Alright y'all, so that just about wraps this video. This PC is most likely catered towards like esports gamers or uh, if you're just a casual gamer and you're looking to play stuff on the go, this has a powerful 8 core, 12 thread processor, GTX 1650 with 4 gigs of VRAM for video, a 512 gigabyte SSD. Uh, which is upgradable, but only you only have one NVMe slot, so you have to consider that. You also get a 144 hertz refresh rate, along with a nice soft touch finish. And you also get some downward firing speakers, as well as a backlit keyboard. Although that keyboard is only, it only turns on or off. You don't have any color options. And then right here, you just, like I said before, you have a fake grill, fake grill slash vents, which do absolutely nothing. But the trackpad is good. The screen is really well as well. But it doesn't get as bright as other screens, other laptops. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. I will catch you in the next video.